Perhaps the smartest kid in the team, maybe, forget the perhaps, the, the smartest kid in the team, at least in the classroom, Jamie Schneck, your yeah. sophomore. Jamie's, uh, I mean, Corbin and Mark Wakama would have something to say about it, but Jamie, <laughs> Jamie is uh, one of the smartest guys on the team. And, well, one of those stories was when I was, we were going out to play Arizona State, we were shooting around the night before, and I said to Jamie, Jamie, where's the world going to be in 10, 15 years? And what are we, what, where will we be? Because he's always reading and mm -hmm. thinking, and he said, uh, my biggest problem was is the energy, and I thought energy. And he said, "We're we have a, we're going to have an energy problem." And I thought, "What do you have?" And he named five or six things we needed to do as a world. And I thought to myself, "Man, oh man, we have recruited some smart kids." <laughs> Sounds like he is a smart kid. Let's meet him now. The sophomore, Jamie Schneck. Jamie Schneck is a six foot eight package shipped in from Whitefish Bay, Wisconsin. A complete package at that. A D1 basketball talent to go with his 3.889 cumulative grade point average. Uh, I think my parents kind of instilled uh, that upon me when I was really a little kid. Uh, always checking on my homework. Uh, you know, if I came home with an A minus or a B plus, it was always, oh, that's good, but you know, what could you have done to get that A? This past semester, I got four A's and one B. And, you know, that always kind of irks me that that one B on the uh, report card, and they're always kind of asking, oh, like. At the professor, or, you know, what could you have done maybe to do better? And sometimes it gets kind of, you know, annoying. Like, you know, it's kind of a hard class. I did uh, all I could. With intense studies at the university's Barney School of Business, this economics and finance major sees his time playing basketball as a perfect way to relieve all the classroom stress. Studying a lot, uh, you know, a lot of the day, a lot of the night, and then being able to come to practice practice for a couple hours and just run up and down the court. It's just, it's awesome. Hartford was just the right business combination for Schneck. High level hoops coupled with all the opportunities the insurance capital of the world has to offer. Just Hartford being a huge uh, insurance finance uh, city um, and in terms of internships and maybe possible jobs post-graduation. I think that's going to be huge, uh, especially in my area of study. Schneck describes his role on the team with pride. Just being a, a dirty work kind of guy, just getting in there, mixing it up, uh, getting rebounds, uh, banging against the, uh, the big guys, the 6'10 guys, which I enjoy. The big guy with the big grades has surprised some at Uhart with his combination of brains and brawn. And that's nothing new. My honors English class my senior year. Everybody was like five, six, you know, and I, here I am, this six, seven, six, eight kid, you know, this jock or whatever you want to call it. But it's kind of surprising because they'll kind of look at me to not be, you know, so smart. And then I'll sometimes raise my hand in class and say some pretty intelligent things, and it's almost like they're kind of surprised. So.